Hey guys, Richie Rich here again, and uh, today, welcome to a part 2 video on the Nissan Z, ZR34, uh, RZ34, uh, video. So this is the Nissan Z video, which is the RZ34 edition. I think I'm, I'm alive. Yep, the RZ34. So... Uh, for part two, I was on uh, specifications for the car, and um, so let's do it. So this is specifications, specifications. Oh, I can't even talk properly. Specifications next. So I have to sometimes say slow. Uh, the Nissan Z uses the same platform, manual gearbox, and architecture as the 370Z, while making use of a nine-speed automatic gearbox used previously in other cars, like the Nissan Frontier, which is basically a pickup truck. Uh, to be honest, for around 80% of the body, we changed the parts. However, carryover of parts is very important for us. And carryover means reality of affordability. So you'll be able to enjoy some affordability. And uh, that was said by Hiroshi Tamura, which is the, who is the chief uh, product specialist of the Nissan Z to Australian uh, publication, car expert about the part sharing with the 370Z. The Nissan Z base sport trim known as Fairlady DZ version S in Japan uses the same VR30 DTTC engine as the Infiniti Red Sports 400 uh, model as well as the Nissan Skyline 400 as, as well as the Nissan Skyline 400R V37 in Japan and the same FM platform as previous gen Nissan Z cars. Uh, the VR the VR30 uh, DDTT is a 3 liter twin turbocharged V6 engine gener generating a maximum power output of 298 kilowatts, 400, 405 PS, 400 horsepower at 6,400 RPM, and 350 pound feet, 400, 470 uh, flat newton meters, newton meters of torque at 1600 to 5600 RPM with a red line of 6800 RPM. So it has like the same info as as what I recently talked about. So, the engine, uh, so, uh, the engine also features uh, direct injection and variable valve timing, which I recently talked about almost like over a year ago or something, I don't know, but, uh, like, I don't know, over seven, eight months ago, I recently talked about variable valve timing, uh, it was pretty cool. So, uh, variable valve time, yeah, variable valve timing running up to 14.7 uh, PSI, which is uh, 1.014 uh, bar of boost. Uh, manual gearbox models get a carbon fiber drive shaft, an XCD uh, performance clutch, and an automatic transmission models get a rev matching system on downshifts and aluminum paddle shifters. I'd go with the manual gearbox mainly because of the XCD performance clutch pretty cool now we got the transmission and gearbox the z has a six-speed manual gearbox like previous gen z cars also offered in an optional nine-speed uh, mercedes-benz 9g tronic auto gearbox with launch control manufactured under license of jatco which stands for japanese auto transmission company and rebranded as jr913e uh now we got the interior. The interior was designed with help of Nismo's Super GT GT500 class racing driver T Sugio Matsuda. In the interior is a custom customizable 12.3 inch uh, TFT instrument dis TFT instrument display, programmable shift indicator, uh, three analog gauges that will show sorry the uh, that show. Uh, uh, turbocharger boost, turbocharger uh, tack, which is for the RPM, and battery voltage, which are perched on top of the dash angle towards the driver. Uh, manually adjustable uh, sport bucket seats, uh, similar to those stand in the Nissan GTR, and a four-way uh, on the a four-way system on the passenger side. Cloth seats with synthetic suede inserts. Uh, a selection of safety systems and a driver-insisted uh, gear are also offered. Customers can choose the interior color in black, red, and blue. 
On the interior, Nissan also offers an 8-inch touchscreen infotainment system with SatNav and Nissan Connect services, 6-speaker a Bose audio system with ANC, active noise cancellation, and active sound and, and ASE active sound enhancement. Standard safety and tech includes lane departure warning, automatic braking with protection detection, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and intelligent cruise control, which is ICC for short. Uh, let's see how much I got more. For the exterior, uh, the Nissan nice the Nissan, the Nissan is available with three monotone exterior paint options and two and two-tone schemes included in the monotone uh, options are black diamond metallic, gun metallic, and rosewood metallic. The two-tones option, the two-tone options pair a super black roof with a, with the following colors: brilliant silver, boulder gray, siron uh, blue. Uh, it spells S C I R A N. Ikazuchi uh, yellow. Passion Red Tri-Coat and Everest White Pearl Tri-Coat. Also featured are dual body colored side mirrors and an integrated LED turn blinkers or turn signals. The hood, bonnet, doors, and rear tailgate are all made of lightweight aluminum. aluminum. The Sport version Z has a curb weight of 3,486 pounds, 1,581 kilograms for the manual version, while the auto weighs at 3,549. 3,549 pounds, 1,610 kilos. It's a little bit heavier than the manual. Now we got the suspension, brakes, and wheels. The suspension setup of the new Z has double wishbone aluminum suspension with increased caster angle on the front, improved straight line tracking, and high and high speed stability. A front strut tower brace stiffens up this front structure, and a rear multi-link suspension has been offered. It also has even wider tires uh, than the 370Z, large di larger diameter monotube shocks, and enhanced body rigidity to help improve cornering. Nissan also offered 12.6-inch uh, rotors for the front and 12.1-inch units for the, rear, for the rear, gripped by the fixed two-piston front calipers and single-piston rear calipers. The Z has 18-inch aluminum alloy wheels and Yokohama Advan tires. Now we got performance. The Z has a top speed of 249 kilometers an hour, 155 miles an hour, but I believe that's limited. In a drag race conducted by Haggerty, Z Performance's auto gearbox version accelerated from zero to 100, zero to 100 kilometers an hour, 60 miles an hour in four in four seconds, completed a quarter mile time of 12.3 seconds at 187 kilometers an hour, 116 miles an hour. The manual gearbox version accelerated from 0 to 100 km an hour, 0 to 60 miles an hour in 4.3 seconds. So it's 0.3 of a second slower than the automatic version. Uh, completed a quarter mile time in 12.8 seconds at 180 km an hour, 112 miles an hour. So it's a little bit slower than the automatic gearbox, but that's how it is for them. So uh, I figured uh, it will be it for now. Um, sorry, this one took a little bit uh, shorter just because uh, I'm about to like work right now, and uh, I might do part three. I don't know, but I'll find out, and uh, I'll see you guys maybe for part three. I'll find out. So uh, I'll see you guys a little bit later, but we'll see. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys soon.